Hello, today we're going to go over how to get the Lodestone Crown and the Ring of Diversion. This is the Lodestone Crown. It's just a single piece of armor. However, if you wear this and you talk to Bedell, the uh, root infested dude at the very beginning of the Ravager storyline in the Forbidden Grove, he will give you the Lodestone Ring. Increases all damage dealt against illuminated enemies by 5%. I don't know what illuminated enemies are, but you can get that ring. On top of the Lodestone Crown, we're going to get the Ring of Diversion, which increases your invulnerability window while evading and sliding. So if you have insanely bad timing on your dodges, this ring can help you out. Now these are found in the Lament, which is one of the rot dungeons in Geisha. There's three of them that are this style. You've got this one, you've got the Chimney, and the Twisted Chantry. You want to make your way through this maze? You can typically crouch through pretty much all of it. Once in a while, you will die randomly. All right, once you get to the end of the maze, you'll pull this lever, open this door up to the coffin room, which is another puzzle. You want to make your way around the loop. All right, once you've made it all the way around, you're now on the second floor with the mummies. You can unlock this door, which will allow you to come back to the beginning and back and forth. You want to come down here and read this book. And it's going to give you a color and a symbol. Well, I don't know why my game keeps glitching. We're looking for like the tan brown ant looking whatever you want to call this. And it is different. It's not the same every time. On top of all the mummies, you've got colors and patterns. So here's that tan brown. So we've got, call that the uh, house. Uh, Pac-Man. Penis. House Pac-Man penis. Uh, moon. House Pac-Man penis penis. Pemis, Pemis, Moon. Here's the dial. I don't know if there's a specific order, but we'll do the Moon, we'll do the House, we'll do the Pac Man, and the Penis. I don't think there's a specific pattern. I think you just need to plug the four in. Okay, and as you progress through, you'll come to these two chests. There probably is an aberration. Yep. Almost got him. There we go. We got Cole Kit's Razor. If we continue to go down this path, though, you can get the Singed Ring. No, what is it? The Blood Tinged Ring. You gain two health regen per second when within 10 meters of a bleeding entity. That's a whole nother secret for a different video. Alright, so we're going to go into inventory, pull Ket's Razor, open it up, go to the top of it, interact. Boom, now it's a key. Go back towards the beginning. There's that first maze with the arrows. There's a door right here. Follow this all the way down to the end. Nah, can't carry anymore. Alright, now once you make your way all the way down to the bottom here, you'll see these floating platforms. And these appear to be random every time also. You can try jumping and stuff down and dodge dive rolling. Um, you can get down. Uh, you just expect death. However, there is... See how I'm being blocked? There is an invisible platform. This is random. Last time I was here, it was this way. And I've had a different, different item. So this is the symbol we're looking for. We walk over to it. We're looking for the same symbol right here. We should... There we go. It's being blocked. Same symbol right here. Oh, it's being blocked. You can see. And then now we're looking for... Is it this guy? Yep. And this guy. Same symbol. 
same symbol. And then it should be straight back to that symbol. Boom. Go ahead and open the door. And here is where we get the Ring of Diversion. But wait, there's more. Not just a chest or a coffin. There's an item up there. If you listen, you can hear the fake walls. They make noises. So you need to be playing or wearing headphones when you play this game. Biggest tip I can give anybody. Boom. And boom. Lucky day. That gives you... The Lodestone Crown. There you go. One of the uh, few puzzles inside the Lament. Anyways, see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.